Hello Streamlabs OBS user. This video will be a guide on how to exclude Spotify, other music, or any audio generating applications from your Twitch VODs using no more than the latest version of Streamlabs OBS. This is done by adding all your desired audio sources like the games you're playing, the music you're listening to, or the videos you're reacting to as application audio sources and muting your traditional desktop or headset audio in the mixer section. Which brings us to step one, muting your desktop or headset audio in the mixer section on the lower right. Next, we will go to settings in the lower left, then to output, and select track three for your Twitch VOD track. Remember this number, select done, and now we will be adding applications as audio sources. In the center lower section, sources, click the plus. And under general sources, you will see application audio capture. Select it and click add source. Then name said source after the application you were going to mute for the VODs. I use Spotify in this case. Then you will select the window and deselect track three as it is the Twitch VOD track. It is also good to deselect track two if you do not want copyright material in your recordings. Now, in this configuration, you will hear music, your viewers will hear music, but the Twitch VOD will not record the music. The next step and the home stretch is now, since your desktop audio is muted in the mixer section, you will have to add all of your games as application audio captures. It sounds tedious, but it is much easier as you do not have to deselect track three or track two. A quick way to return to the advanced audio settings menu is to right click any of your audio sources and select properties. From here you can manage the track numbers. Your application audio sources are now also visible in the mixer section on the right. An additional trick you can do using this is adding an application audio capture for Google Chrome, for instance. And one can mute the stream and VOD tracks and be listening to whatever, whether it be a movie or a podcast, and the viewers and the VOD would be none the wiser. So putting it simply, Application Audio Capture is doing the heavy lifting here. Anytime you add a new game through a game capture, be sure to add the application audio capture as well. Hopefully this explanation was clear and helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I will do my best to answer clearly and quickly. Happy streaming and best of luck to you in 2025.